For maximum picture quality, it may be necessary to adjust the tracking control on your VCR. everyone. We have a busy day ahead. Mrs. Percival's having a little trouble with a leaky water tank. Do you need any help, Bob? I'll take a look at the damage, and if I need you, I'll call. Oh, okay. Can you fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, I, I think so. Hello, Bob. Thanks for coming so quickly. No problem, Mrs. Percival. Uh, the tank is up there, Bob, in the attic. Okay, let's take a look. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Is this a special delivery? <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Beasley. They're my carrier pigeons. They carry messages to people. This one's Maisie, and this one's Daisy, named after my sisters. They're ever so intelligent, you know. Your sisters? No, 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 no. My pigeons. I'm taking them to the pet shop. I wish I could keep them, but I don't have enough time to take them flying. And they do love flying. <sighs> But I won't rest until I find a good home for them. Why don't I take your pigeons, Mr. Dixon? Oh, um, I'll well... look after them, and you can visit whenever you like. Oh, that's really kind of you. Thanks, Mr. Beasley, but I am going to miss them. They'll be perfectly safe with me. Don't you worry. All right. Bye-bye, girls. Now, be good for Mr. Beasley, okay? <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I found the leak, Mrs. Percival. So, uh, will you be able to repair it? Actually, Mrs. Percival, I don't think I can. Seems we have another little problem. Here we are, Maisie and Daisy. This is your new home. Oh, 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 oh wow! You, you want to fly. Mr. Dixon said you like flying. <laughs> Look! Uh, uh, careful now! Yeah, uh, my ballerina! Uh, uh, watch out! Uh, 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 oh no! What am I going to do now? Look, Mrs. Percival! You have bats in your attic! Oh, goodness me! Yeah, that's why I can't fix it. I don't want to disturb them. What about that leaky water tank? Don't worry, Mrs. Percival. I can do a small repair now to stop the water. Then, when we move the bats to a safe place, I'll finish the job properly. But how on earth will we get them to move? I don't know yet, Mrs. Percival. Oh, no. I'll never be able to fix this. Yeah, I better get some help. Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Uh, I beg your pardon? Oh, sorry, Wendy. I was talking to Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about, Mr. Beasley? Uh, that is Mr. Beasley, isn't it? Oh, yes, Wendy, it is. I need your help. My bookcase is broken. I'm leaving now. Now, whatever you do, don't wake the bats. They're sleeping ever so peacefully, aren't they? That should work now. Well done, Bob. Come on, Maisie Wazy. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Uh, oh, dear, Mr. Beasley. You are in a bit of a pickle. Uh, yes. Come on. Uh, get in, girls. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Woo. Lively pair, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Okay, now to get started on this bookcase. I'm training these pigeons, you know. D firm but fair, that's my way. Quiet, please. See that, Wendy? That is called training. Who said that? So, Mr. Beasley, um, where are the pigeons going to live? Uh, no. Uh, I don't really know. Have you, uh, thought about a pigeon loft? A pigeon loft? It's a little house all of their own. Oh, well, that's a good idea, Wendy. Could you build them one? Of course, Mr. Beasley. Hey, Mark, guess what? There are bats living in the school attic. Wow, bats? You don't see those very often, do you, Bob? No, Muck. They're a protected species. What do you mean, Bob? It means we have to take extra special care of them. Oh, dear, Bob. What am I going to do? The bats can't stay here. We'll have to find them a safe place, and soon. Done. Let's make sure Maisie and Daisy like it. That's the most important thing. Oh, uh, look at that. Uh, they look so cozy snuggled up together. It's uh, getting kind of late now, Mr. Beasley. Lofty and I should head for home. Oh. Oh, hello, Bob. You need my help? And Lofty, too? Okay, we'll be right over. You see that little hole in the roof? That's where the bats got in. And my guess is that's where they'll fly out. But how will we catch them? What we need is some kind of net. A net? I think I might have just the thing. Maisie! Daisy! Supper's ready! Come and get it! Oh no! I left the door open and the pigeons have gone. Yeah. I better call Wendy. She'll know what to do. A tennis net. Just the thing to catch the bats. Come on, Lofty. We're going to need your help. Oh, oh, dear. You take hold of the net and then stretch as high as you can and catch the bats in the net as they fly out. Come on, Lofty. You can do it. <laughs> I think so. Hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Beasley. Oh, no. The pigeons have flown away? I'll be right there. Well, we've caught the bats, Wendy. Now what should we do? You finish up here, Bob, and I'll take care of the bats. Come on, Lofty. Back to Mr. Beasley's. Oh, what's this? Have you found the pigeons? No, Mr. Beasley. These are bats. They have nowhere to live, poor little things. They need somewhere that's safe and cozy. And they're ever so sweet. Wendy, I have a fantastic idea. How are you doing, Bob? All done, Muck. Let's go and see how Wendy's doing with those bats. Oh, what a great idea, Mr. Beasley. This pigeon loft is just right for the bats. I hope they'll be very happy here. Oh, no! Daisy and Daisy have come back. Oh, oh look, Mr. Beasley. They brought you a message. It's from Mr. Dixon. It says, Daisy and Daisy have come home. I promise to take them flying every Sunday. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh, oh they must have really missed each other. Yeah. We must. Bye, Daisy. Bye, Daisy. Happy flying. Hello, everyone. We came to see how the bats have settled in. They're fine, Bob. Everything's worked out really well. That's a very nice pigeon loft, Wendy. Did you build it? Yes. With Lofty's help, of course. <laughs> it's not a pigeon loft anymore, Bob. It's a bat loft. Isn't it? <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Scrafty, are you looking for your bone? Oh, my, you're covered in mud. I think I'd better give you a bath. Oh, no. Now, come on, Scrafty. That's a good dog. Come on now, it's not cold. You'll be fine. You'll be a nice, clean dog after a bath. No, no, no Scrafty, come back! Scrafty, here, boy! Hold on to Scrafty, Spud! Spud's on the job! Aha! Gotcha! Nice, Scrafty. Can you hold on to him while I wash him, Spud? Yes, Farmer Pickles. Don't splash me, Farmer Pickles. I don't like getting wet. <laughs> I've got to get the mud off, Scrafty. Otherwise, he'll get under your fur and you'll be itching for weeks. Go, Scrafty, no! Ugh. It's wet. Horrible soapy water all over me. <laughs> oh, look, a clean spot, Muck. Maybe I should clean the rest of you. Uh, no, 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 it's all right, Wendy. I I'm fine. Uh, honest. <laughs> Hello, Scrafty. Wow, you're really dirty, aren't you? Hello, Farmer Pickles. Hello there, Bob. I have a job for you. It might be kind of messy, though. Oh, great. I need a new fence put up around my compost heap. Scruffy likes to crawl through the hole in the old one and roll around in the compost. He makes a real big mess. We'll get onto it right away, Farmer Pickles. Uh, what's a compost heap? Ah, well now, Dizzy. I put my old plants and stale food in a big heap. Then, in time, it crumbles down and becomes compost. And I put it on my crops to help them grow. Oh, <laughs> it sounds yucky. It sounds lovely. Okay, I'll call JJ and order the fence. Muck, Lucky, I'll need your help today. See you later, Wendy. Yeah, bye, Bob. Can you fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Okay, that's a special fencing Bob ordered. Now, Trix, you be sure to go straight to Farmer Pickle's farm. Okie dokie, JJ. Hey, drop me off on your way, please, Trix. Sure thing, Molly. Enjoy your creature spotting or whatever it is you're doing today, Molly. I'm nature watching, Dad. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, you two. So, what do you do when you're nature watching, Molly? Watch the wildlife, Trix. And then I draw what I see. Birds, dragonflies, and well, who knows? Uh, uh, can I come and watch with you? Trix, you're scaring the wildlife away. Sorry. You'd better deliver the fence to Farmer Pickle's farm first. Oh, okie dokie, Molly. See you later, Trix. Bye, Molly. Hi, Bob. Here's your new fence. Oh, thanks, Trix. It looks good and strong. Watch out! I don't want to look like a compost heap. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> it's all right, Trick. Please only say it's hello. And now, Scruffy, I'll show you how to make a really nice, neat pile. Now, Trix, let's get you cleaned up. There. Why don't you go back to JJ's now? Good idea, Bob. It's cleaner there. Hi, bird. <laughs> Do you want me to draw you? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Look, bird. It's 
such an otter! And two baby otters at the top of the mudslide! Otter's teaching her babies to swim. You can do it, little otter. Are you being quiet and seeing lots of wildlife, Molly? Oh, tricks. What's wrong, Molly? I was watching some otters, but you were so noisy you frightened them away. Oh, sorry, Molly. Um, I've never seen an otter. What does it look like? Well, it's an animal with a long body and tail, and whiskers, and a... Uh, oh, it's easier if I show you. Look. Oh, wow. <gasps> I want to see a real otter. Okay, Trix. Come and hide with me, and be very quiet. little bit closer. Oh, I scared them away. I'm sorry, Molly. I don't think the little otters like me. Don't be silly. Maybe they ran away because you're so big and shiny. Hey, why don't you try hiding again? I don't want to spoil your nature watching, Molly. I'll just go away. Well done, Muck. And Lofty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and well done, Scruffy, too. Well, Bob, I reckon my new fence looks really good. We'll be going then, Farmer Pickles. Oh, oh okay. Bye, Bob. Thanks again. Goodbye, lovely compost. <sighs> hi, Trix. Oh, hi. Trix? What's wrong? I wanted to see the otters, Bob, but, but I don't think they like me. Oh, no. Otters? Wow. Uh, are they this way, Trix? Yeah. Away from me. See you back at the yard, Muck. Have fun. Hi, Molly. Hey, Muck. <laughs> the otters are just like me. They love mud, too. Did you see that, Molly? Fantastic! It's not fair. How come Muck doesn't scare the otters, but I do? That's it. The otters can't see muddy old Muck. But she's not behind the bushes. No, but she's covered in compost. Oh, yeah. The otters can't see her. I have an idea. Muck, do you want to go and look at your compost heap again? Oh, yeah. Well, come on. Farmer Pickles, can we have some of your compost, please? It's really important. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> Mark, Crafty, I want you to help me get really muddy. Oh, Yay! Oh, 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 oh. oh, wait, stay still. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Farmer Pickles. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't want to scare the otters again. You won't now. Come on, Trix. You look terrific. Otters do like me. Hey, Mark, getting muddy is great, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the mud on you. Uh-oh. Uh, that's a bucket of soapy water, isn't it, Wendy? Uh -huh. And you're getting closer to me, aren't you? Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Molly. Molly. Phew. 
saved. I brought a present for you, Muck. Great! What is it, Molly? Wow! It's a drawing of the otters. Oh, thanks, Molly. I think mudslides are great. <laughs> I know, Muck. But you're not nature watching now. So, come here. Oh! Oh, no, Wendy! <laughs> No, no, stop so be water. No, <laughs> please stop. Ah! Ah, yes. Okay, team, we're gonna build a new rock garden in the park today. I like rock gardens. Rock and roll. How many rocks are there, Rolly? Um, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven, Bob. That's right. So I need to make seven holes. Come on, Scoop. I'll make the holes and you can put the rocks in. No problem, Bob. Hold on a minute. He said there were seven rocks. There were! I counted them! But we've put in seven rocks already, so we shouldn't have any left. And there's one there. You're right, Scoop. Sorry, Bob. I must have made a mistake when I counted. Oh. Hello? Bob the Builder? Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. I see. Tommy the Tortoise is missing. Oh, my. I know there were only seven rocks. <gasps> it's gone! <laughs> Hello, Tommy. Tommy! It's all right, Mrs. Potts. He's here, safe and sound. We'll bring him back on our way home. <laughs> Bob, he's eating your lunch. <laughs> oh, no. Tommy! <laughs> All right, Pilchard. You can have your breakfast first. <laughs> Anyone would think you'd never been fed before. <laughs> Say, you were hungry, Pilchard. <laughs> oh, you want to go out now, do you? <laughs> You know, Pilchard, maybe today I could fit that cat flap I've been promising you. Then you can come and go when you like. <sighs> Time for that coffee break, at last. Okay, Travis, let's see how my lettuce is getting on. Farmer Pickles, look! There's rabbits everywhere. Oh, oh no! Hey, don't eat my lettuce! Shoot, shoot, out of here! Good boy, Scruffy. These rabbits have got to be stopped. Morning, team. Hi, Hi, Bob. Sorry, Pilchard, but your cat flap will have to wait. Farmer Pickles has some rabbits eating all of his lettuce. <coughs> yes, and we need to build a fence quickly. <coughs> now, Muck, can you come with me to pick up some materials from JJ's? Okay, Bob. And Wendy, you and Scoop can go and make a start on the digging. Sure, Bob. Can we dig it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. That looks great. Well, thanks. I hope it keeps the rabbits out. I'm sure it will, Bob. But Spud says he'll keep watch tonight, just in case they find a way through. Spud's on the job. Hippity hop, hippity hop. I'm in disguise. Then we'll leave it to you, Spud. Come on, team. We better be getting home. OK, bye now. It's no good looking at me with your sad faces. Go on, shoo. Good. Glad we understand each other. <laughs> huh? Oh, what's this? Oh. -ho. Nice try. But you'll never get over the top, and I've never seen a flying rabbit. 
Now, now, now. We've thought of that as well. Bob has buried the fence really deep. <laughs> Spud, the super rabbit scarer, strikes again. And don't think you can sneak back later, because I'll be awake all night. <sighs> this rabbit scaring is hard work. <sighs> Barbara Pickles won't mind if I just have a rest and lie down while I'm guarding. Don't worry, Lettuce. You're safe now. Uh. Well, uh, Oh, morning, Farmer Pickles. Spud's on the jeep. <laughs> uh oh. What is it, boy? Well, look at that. Something's trampled down the fence. Some, something very big. Well, I think I'll make a start on the cat flap today. Oh, hello, Bob's building yard. Uh, oh no. We'll be right over, Farmer Pickles. Bye. What's happened? Something knocked down the fence last night. Sorry, Pilchard. Looks like I'll have to go back to the farm. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go and fix it while you fit Pilchard's cat flap, Bob. Thanks, Wendy. Hello. Ah, oh, there. All fixed. And I put in a couple of extra supports, too. Oh, thanks, Wendy. I wonder what could have trampled down that fence. Over here, I found some monster footprints. Monster? Yes, look, I, I was lucky it didn't eat me, you know. Oh, stop being silly, Spud. Well, they're not fox or sheep prints. I think I'd better go and have a look in the woods, see if I can find any clues. I'll come with you, Farmer Pickles. Oh, me too. Come on, Scruffy. Spud? You can stay here and keep an eye out for those rabbits. But, 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 but what if the monster comes back? You can't just leave me here on my own. Spud, I've told you before. There's no such thing as monsters. And Scoop will stay here too, Spud. Oh, will he? Well, then that's okay. Ah, look. Something's been scratching at this tree. Good work, Scruffy. <laughs> Pickles, Detective Dizzy's found another clue. Black and white hair. Well, well, I think I know what our mystery animal is. A badger. I didn't know there were badgers around here. <laughs> oh, Scruffy wants us to follow him. Come on. <laughs> oh, look. This must be where they live. Really? Down that hole? Yes, Dizzy. It's called a badger set. There'll be lots of tunnels down there. Hello! <laughs> Mr. Badger! Shh, Dizzy. They'll be asleep now. They only come out at night. Oh, wow! It all makes sense now. Badgers always like to use the same paths. The path in the lettuce field leads to the stream. Oh, and they must have been going for a drink and the fence was in their way. That's right, yes, so they pushed it down. They must be really strong. Now, how are we gonna stop the rabbits eating all my lettuce without stopping the badgers getting to the stream? Hmm, that is going to be a challenge. There, one cat flap finished. Not bad, huh, Pilchard? Pilchard? Oh, Bob the Builder. Oh, hi, Wendy. Yes. That is a tricky problem. No, Pilchard, you scared me there. Hold on, Wendy. That gives me an idea. I'll be right over. It's a cat flap for badgers. That's right, Muck. The badgers can push it open and it will close behind them just like a cat flap would. Bob, why can't the rabbits just push it open too? They're not strong enough, Scoop. It has to be a big animal. <laughs> Scruffy says, like him? Yes, Scruffy. Why don't you try it out? Oh, that's great! Oh, wow. Well done, Scruffy. Well, Bob, 
I reckon all my lettuce will be safe now, thanks to you. You think badgers are as clever as Scruffy Bob? I hope so. I tell you what, why don't you come back tonight and we can see for ourselves? That's a great idea, Farmer Pickles. I think I can hear something. They are clever badgers. And the gate works just great, Bob. Can we follow them? I reckon they've gone to the stream to have a drink, Dizzy. I think we should leave them be now. Bye-bye, badgers. <laughs> Have a nice drink. <laughs> have a really bad case of damp rot, Mr. Fothergill. You're lucky you only put your foot through it. Foot through it? Oh, no. Is that <clears throat> serious, Bob? Uh, well, you see, damp rot is what happens when water gets into your floorboards and they don't dry out thoroughly. If we don't fix it soon, it could spread all over your house. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't sound... Oh, that sound good, Bob. Well, my damp meter says it's already spread to your stairs. Oh, really? They seem, uh... Strong enough? <laughs> oh, gee. Don't worry. We can fix it, but we'll have to put some smelly stuff on the floor. That won't do my the allergy any good. Allergy any good? I'm afraid it won't be very good for Hamish either. You should really both go away for the day. Oh, I could uh, visit my sister, Faye. But Hamish won't be able to come. She finds uh, Hamish a bit of a handful. Bit of a handful? Oh, well, I'm pretty sure we can find someone to look after him. I'll go to JJ's and arrange for Skip to pick up all the rotten old wood. All right, then, Bob. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you later. <sighs> so you see, JJ, Hamish needs a place to stay. Mm. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you there, Bob. Uh, Dad? There's a big delivery coming in. I'll be busy all day. Dad! Excuse me, Molly. Did you say something? Yeah. Hamish could come and stay with us. Oh, I don't know about that. I could look after him. Oh, well, all right then, as long as he doesn't get in the way. Yay, you're the greatest. What about that dumpster? Okay, Dad. Ready, Skip? What? Oh, oh, oh yeah, ready, Molly. I have to pick up the damp-proofing equipment. See you later, JJ. Put it down here, Skip. Okay, Molly. 
I've got some great news, Mr. Fothergill. Hamish can come and stay with us. Oh, really? Oh, that's a... That's marvelous. I'll just go and get him. Hi there, Bob. Hi, Wendy. Where's Mr. Fothergill? He's gone to get Hamish. He won't be long. Come here, Hamish. You have to go to JJ's. Go to JJ's! I'm back, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, no. It, it's no good. He won't get into his cage. I have an idea. Put the cage down, Mr. Fothergill. Uh, okay. Uh, Stand back. Uh, 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 no! uh, 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 well done, Molly. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, I better go now. Oh, bye, Habish. Bye-bye, Hamish! Ah! Don't worry, Mr. Fothergill. We'll look after him. And we'll have your floor as good as new. Will we, team? Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Okay, Trix. Put this new stock over there, please. Okay, JJ. Hi, Dad. Hi, Trix. Hi, Molly. Is this where it goes, JJ? That's it, Trix. Left a bit. Right a bit. We'd have gotten back sooner, but Hamish didn't want to get into his cage. <laughs> Left a bit? Who said that? Look out! Tricks! Whoa! Sorry, JJ. I thought you said left a bit. I didn't. Right a bit? But I think I know who did. Ah! How's it going, Bob? Really well, Scoop. Now it's time to put those chemicals on the floor. Here they are, Bob. Will the chemicals stop Mr. Fothergill's floor from going rotten again, Bob? That's exactly what they'll do, Scoop. But they don't smell very nice, so we'll have to wear masks over our faces. I'll call JJ to say the dumpster's ready to pick up. Good idea, Wendy. I think it'll be much safer if Hamish is in here. It's not his fault, Dad. It's just what parrots do. Parrots do! JJ's building supplies. Hello, JJ. It's Wendy. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll, you'll have to speak up. Wendy, Molly can come. Come and pick up the dumpster. Uh, okay, Wendy, I'll send her over right away. Bye. Who was that, Dad? It was Wendy. She, uh, uh I'll tell you outside. Oh, that's better. Why is Hamish making all that noise? Maybe he's hungry. I better feed him. You have to get that dumpster. I'll look after Hamish. Oh, okay. Come on, Skip. I won't be long, Trix. Don't worry, JJ. I can stack everything. No problem. Up you go. So, now, where did Molly put your seed? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there. Time for your dinner, Hamish. Hamish? Uh, oh, no! Right a bit? Right a bit? Look out, Trix! Who said that? Whoa! Trix? Wh what happened? That talent almost fell on me, but Hamish told me to look out just in time. How about that? How about that? Rock. Look out, Trix! What's been going on here? Oh, Molly, I, I had an accident, but Hamish saved me, didn't he, JJ? Yes, he did. He's a very clever parrot. Aren't you, Hamish? Very clever parrot. Ah! Oh, that's the floor finished, Bob. And the banister's done, too. Time to let everyone know. I'll get it. Come on, Hamish. Say... J.J.'s Building Yard. Very clever parrot! That was Bob. Hamish can go home now. Oh, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed your stay, Hamish. Uh, gotten used to having you around. Well, better get back in your cage. In your cage? <laughs> oh, he wouldn't do that for Mr. Fothergill. He must really like you, Dad. Like you, Dad! <laughs> Oh, he called me Dad. Thank you very much, everybody. 
Everything looks as good as new. No problem, Mr. Fothergill. Yeah, no problem. It's teamwork, see? I just noticed something, Mr. Fothergill. You haven't sneezed once since you got back. You know what? I was fine all the time I was at Faze. Here's Hamish, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, hello, Bolly. And hello, hello, <laughs> Wow, what a sneeze! Are you all right, Mr. Fothergill? Oh, <coughs> my nose has gotten all <coughs> tickly. Oh, oh, dear. I think I know what gives Mr. Fothergill his allergy. It's Hamish. I think you might be right, Wendy. <coughs> What's an allergy, Bob? It means that when Hamish is around, Mr. Fothergill can't stop sneezing, Muck. Does that mean Hamish will have to live somewhere else? I'm afraid so. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid so, Scoop. We'll have to find him a, <laughs> a nice new home. <laughs> Molly, do you think he could, uh... <laughs> Stay with us? Yeah! That'd be great! Are you sure your dad will think it's great too, Molly? You know what? He'll love it. Love it! <laughs> Night, Skip. Night, Trix. Night, Hamish. Night, everyone. Night, night. Night, Dad. Night, Molly. Night, Molly. Night, Dad. Night, Skip. Night, Trix. Good night, Hamish. Oh! Ah! Good night, Hamish. Mrs. Potts, you want the walls painted green to match the carpet, and the ceiling should be painted yellow to match the curtains, and the woodwork should be blue to go with the rug. Okay. These are the colors. My niece is having her wedding reception here, and I want the room to look just right. You leave it to us, Mrs. Potts. I'm going to buy myself a beautiful new hat for the wedding. Bye-bye. Goodbye. All right, Dizzy. I want you to go to the hardware store and get three cans of paint. Okay, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. I've got the paint. Good job, Dizzy. Now, let's see. This yellow paint matches the curtains. This green paint matches the carpet. And this one... Hold on. It should be blue, not red. Oh, no. Hello? You'll never guess what happened. They had a fabulous hat in the first shop I went into. Well, that was lucky. Yes, wasn't it? Now, how are you doing? Well, there's a little problem, Mrs. Potts. I've got paint to match the carpet and the curtains, but the third one's completely the wrong color. It doesn't go with the rug, but look! Oh, Mrs. Potts, it's a perfect match. Mm -hmm. The weather we've been enjoying is coming to an end. Heavy rain is forecast for later on this afternoon.